Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and a happy new year to all. May 2024 be a good year to all of you. I want also to give my thanks to a special subscriber who is now also a Patreon on my Patreon channel. Thank you Jeff Froderman for your message and for helping me build up the community. Now, last year we explored profile of line in Calypso. So, what better way to start this year than explaining how to create and evaluate a profile characteristic in Calypso. So grab a pen and paper, open Calypso and follow along with me. And to explore this guide, of course, that we need a model and a drawing. So I created something that resembles the examples from ISO and ASME standards, like we can see now on the screen. Therefore, we have this component. And first of all, let us create the alignment in Calypso. So go to Calypso and create the alignment exactly as you saw in the drawing from here <clears throat> so we have datum a on this side datum b on this side and datum c on this side so a pretty basic alignment but this is enough to show the example that we want to show And after the alignment is done, we have to collect the features required to construct the profile. And depending on the options that you have available, you can do this in two ways. First way is the simple way, but it requires you to have a free form surface license. So if you do not have this license, and you want it, just contact your local size representative and ask for the license. If you want to check if you have the license, just go to extra settings, miscellaneous, and then right here, you can see if you have the license. See, it's right here for me. Now, if you do have it, then go to CAD, creating features, go to point set here. Select the freeform surface and here select from faces. Now you can select multiple faces, multiple elements like I do here. Okay, let's select also this one. But you have to remember that this will apply for the individual surface right so it will not apply for all the surface like it is here it will apply for individual surface so let me just exemplify so the grid length is this one right and we need 10 points and the grid width the grid width is this one and it's also 10 points okay so let's create and see what happens See, it created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for this one. And for this one, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And maybe you do not want that, right? Maybe you want to have on this surface that is bigger 10 with 10 like we have here and i will do exactly that i will create and then again i will create on this one 10 with 5 because i don't need so many so 5 is good okay great feature now we have two features Remember to select surface used because it will take 
the surface and we, it will analyze exactly that surface the points exactly from that surface by probably made a mistake and got too close to the edge but this is an offline program so i'm it doesn't really matter you just uh, be careful not to be that close to the edge you probably saw right here that you have the possibility to control the edge distance so maybe if i put here one millimeter and select the surface again but from faces yeah see it's one millimeter from the edge from here and from here also so okay let's do that let's delete these two create this one and let's do exactly the same for this one create but with five okay yeah much better create feature okay and now we have two features right so this one select surface used and this one also select surface used and now let's create a third one from special geometries go to features special geometries freeform surface and recall all the points right recall feature points from freeform surface one and freeform surface two click ok surface used now you have to select them okay and this is actually the profile feature that we are going to use and now go to form and location profile and select the profile feature the good thing about this option is that you can select from here a no datum reference frame and if you have a profile with no datums then this is the easiest way to do it now let's see how to evaluate this profile when you do not have this license available of course that you can have a geometric element right like we can have here because here it's actually two cylinders right so you can have two cylinders you can evaluate then the profile from the cylinders right so let's select a strategy okay let's leave it like this because it, this the strategy is not important right now okay so we will leave it like this and you can probably go and say a profile for uh, cylinder 1 0 0.2 and uh, another one for cylinder 2 and this is it you have two profiles instead of one but you can evaluate like this the profile and you will generate exactly what the drawing asks you, asks you to do especially if you have a basic dimension like we have here of the radius then it's clearly a cylinder right here again okay and it's clear that this is the way but be careful because if you evaluate a profile like this then the geometrical element will be evaluated as a minimum feature so the minimum feature is actually the Chebyshev feature so be careful if you want to be closer to the profile that we do we've done earlier you just have to choose here lsq feature but let's leave it like this for now it's fine let's copy just just this one profile three copy it here and we will set this to lsq and evaluate this to lsq 
But let's say that you have a more complex surface and you cannot use geometrical elements when you try to evaluate the profile. Then you simply have to create surface points on the required surface and get the space point distance of each point and show the deviation on each point in the report. So just define space points. Make sure you check the wireframe because you will need to see exactly where the surface is. So now we have 24 points. I might have exaggerated a little, <laughs> but it's fine. And now take the point distance and set the tolerance to plus minus 0 0.1 because it's uh, the tolerance from the drawing, right? So the tolerance from here divided by 2, 0 0.1, 1 on the plus sign and one, 0 0.1 on the minus sign. So that's why we have here the tolerance. I'm guessing that you know that. For this example, I will not change any description from the characteristic or the features, but make sure that you do. Uh, it's way easier for you to work with features that are named properly and characteristics that are named properly. But for this example, I will not do that. Okay, go to point two, select here last input to remember the tolerance that we set on the first one and pick again last input okay great and again and do this for all of them or simply select one of them that you already have right so this one we already have go to the transfer format from here and select here characteristic then select all of the rest of the points and click OK and there you have it we are now going to run the measurement program the first one we had the profile right so we had the profile feature, the one that it's with both of them. Okay. The second one is the one with this cylinder. The next one is the one with the other cylinder. So you see, you have some differences between them. Not that big difference, but there is some differences between the measurement. Okay, and then we have the space point distance. Yeah, so on the space point distance, we have very, very little deviation. There is another way to show a single result, even from these points from here, but this requires you to use results element. Go to size, more, and results element. Okay, and you can use a formula with the results element. And if you have a Patreon account, go to my page, activate an XYZ Architect exclusive and watch the rest of the video there and find out what formula you have to use to generate the profile characteristic without a freeform license. If not, then you can generate the space point distance as I showed you right here after they are done and you will have the information from the surface that you need. I hope the information provided in this video was helpful for you and that you are now more confident in your work. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet, leave a like and until next time, learn as much as you can.